Hello to everyone and welcome to one of my many videos of this highly addicting hobby marine aquariums and in this quick video we're just gonna do a un uh, I'm just gonna show you the unboxing of a Vortec MP10 propeller pump with the EcoSmart driver now we're gonna be I'm just gonna show you basically what comes inside the box and um, as a bonus I'm just gonna do a quick comparison of the wet side assembly of the MP10 compared to a Coral IF4 which is what I had on the 30 gallon nano but first we're just gonna qu take a quick look at some of the stuff that comes in inside the box the box that you see here on your left is just the old box of the MP40 it's actually uh, um, smaller than that of the MP10 and I believe that to be because um, the driver is just a, a slightly taller and it you know I don't know I guess they for whatever reason this box looks a little bigger but this is the box where the Vortec MP10 comes in and we're gonna look at some of the equipment that comes inside the box now here is the AC adapter for the to power the unit and behind it you're gonna see the wet the foam assembly for the wet dry side I mean for the wet side and I don't know why it really brings that because I never use it there probably are some people out there that use it to protect their fish but in actuality if your fishes are healthy there's no way they're gonna get caught in that pump it just it, it's it's not gonna happen so it also brings some some zip ties and some other assembly parts that um, are for the purpose of preventing your dry assembly here from falling off the glass and hitting the ground you definitely don't want that to happen and the, and and the wet the dry side assembly is actually very heavy it brings a really strong magnet inside and uh, this oral disc that you see here is just a rubber pad you know to kind of um, uh, protect the glass and protect the pump from the glass itself so this is the dry side assembly and it is connected to the EcoSmart driver now this is the only equipment that you can't really remove from the driver so the driver and the dry side of the assembly must always be together the new driver it's awesome I, I need to give it a try I have never had this driver I've always had it um, the older drivers that you see there sitting on top of the top off container and you know this driver is just slightly larger it's the wireless one it comes with several different better options than the older driver you can actually shut off the pump from this driver which you couldn't do it with the older drivers you would actually literally have to disconnect the driver from the the power cord in order to shut off the pump so uh, you know they did some some nice advancements on this new driver it also has the um, little holes that you see here are LEDs that shine on the top of the buttons and there's also some LEDs that will give you some indication of what setting you have on the button itself here um, it's really nice unit but the number one reason for me getting this pump is as you can see here the wet side assembly this here sitting next to the wet side assembly is a coral IF4 I mean you know size was not the main reason but he just look at it this is a Coral IF4 side by side with the wet dry assembly of the MP10. The wet dry assembly is the only piece of equipment that's going to go inside of your tank. And it's two and a half inches um, tall, basically. So it's just going to be extending two and a half inches into your aquarium. And not only is it smaller compared to that of a Coral IF4, which is seven inches, but it'll give me more power and more water movement than the Coral IF4 itself. And um, I had the Coral IF4 in my 30 gallon system 
and it's because it offers a lot of and this is actually the the the, con the controllable pump oil which runs with the Coralia wave maker it's a really good pump don't get me wrong the problem I was having is that this pump the entire assembly goes inside of the aquarium and the motor is inside the water creating more heat and because my newly set up 30 gallon nano system has a refugium with the lights on 24 hours you know I was starting to get a, a little bit of a heat issue and whatnot so uh, getting yourself an mp10 is not only gonna be a lot smaller and um, the footprint itself is gonna be basically almost noticeable unnoticeable compared to that of a Coralia 4 but you're also gonna get a lot more speed and aside from getting a lot more speed you're gonna get a lot more different types of settings to run the you know the, the the water movement in your system and on top of that it's also gonna keep your system it's not gonna provide heat into your system you know so that, that that's just uh, it, it's worth every penny it's 219 bucks I was actually able to get it uh, with 10% off at that fish place because um, I'm a really good customer they send me these these deals all the time so I only ended up paying like hundred and ninety seven dollars for it but you can see the differences for yourself it is amazing the Coralia 4 will give you speeds this controllable pump in particular will give you speeds between 500 gallons per hour to 1400 gallons per hour when the mp10 is going to give you anywhere between 200 gallons per hour to uh, 1500 to about a thousand five hundred and seventy five to about sixteen hundred gallons per hour now that's just that's not where it stops the fact that these small little pumps have the power to simulate water movement in nature and create an undertow is a major plus in nature the surface of the water is moving in one direction the middle of the water is moving at the other direction and the 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 bottom lower area sitting near the near the sand the water is actually moving in the opposite direction so this pump is actually going to create that for you is going to push water um in the center a gentle flow you know and it's also going to pull water from the top towards the pump and it's going to pull water from the bottom towards the pump and, and I'm, I was sold hands down this is the one of the best this is the best pump that you can actually get you know tons uh, controllable pumps are also um, good but in my opinion the Vortec MP10s and, and, and the MP40s are just the best pumps in the market hands down so this has just been a quick video of the unboxing stay tuned for future updates of the 30 gallon nano will at where I will have this um, propeller pump installed and I'm all, I may also do a couple of videos with the different settings you know just to show you guys how well this Vortec MP10 is gonna create a wave setting on a 36 inch long tank so um, you know I, I'll make a couple of videos about that sometime in the future but once again this is New York Stilo with another video any questions, comments, uh, concerns, feel free to voice your opinions on my video, on the video itself or on the channel. And if you like my videos, guys, subscribe. Um, I will be making, the more subscribers I have, the more videos I will make. So, uh, New York Stilo signing out. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Peace.